Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we're going to continue with the same chapter, whole number. And this is our new subtopic, close under which mathematical operation. You so let's start the lesson. Five and four are whole numbers. Four plus five is equal to nine. And nine is also a whole number itself. 35 plus 45 is equal to 8. 35 and 45 both are whole numbers and 80 is a whole number itself also. Similarly, 250 plus 95 is equal to 345. So, all these three numbers are also a whole number. So, for the last example, 29,000 plus 41,000 is equal to 70,000. Also, again, these three are a whole number. So, we can say that when we add two whole numbers, we get a whole number. It's thus, we say that whole numbers are closed under addition. We, this statement, whole numbers closed are closed under addition, it's just the mathematical way of saying whole numbers, when we add two whole numbers, we get a whole number itself. Is whole numbers closed under subtraction? When we subtract two whole numbers, do we get a whole number itself? 44 minus 14 is equal to 30. We subtracted two whole numbers and we got a whole number again. Similarly, when we subtract 10,000 minus 9,999, we get 1, which is a whole number itself. What about 6 minus 16? What will we get when we subtract 16 from 6? Wait a moment. Can we even subtract 16 from 6? No, we can't do that. And if we try to subtract them, here's what we get. A negative number. I'm not talking about negative numbers now in this lesson. But I will teach you what negative numbers are in the future lessons. Minus 10 is certainly not a whole number. Minus 10 is a negative number, not a whole number. Similarly, if we subtract 44 from 14, we will get a negative number. And minus 30 is a negative number, not a whole number. Hence, we will deem this operation invalid. Both numbers are not whole numbers. So, we can say that whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. About multiplication. Are whole numbers closed in multiplication? Yes, whole numbers are closed under multiplication. Whenever you multiply any whole number with another whole number, we will always get a whole number. Here are a few examples to support this argument. 5 times 10 is 50, which is a whole number. Twenty-three into 10,000 is equal to 23,000, which is a whole number again. Now, let us involve the whole number 0. 0 into 20,000 is equal to what? Whenever we multiply any number with 0, we get a 0. So, the answer is 0. When we take any two whole numbers and multiply them, the answer we'll get is always a whole number. So, whole numbers are closed under multiplication. A whole numbers closed under division? Now, we will get to know. If we divide two whole numbers, will the answer always be a whole number? So, first if we divide 44 by 2, we get 22 and 22 is a whole number. If we divide 6 by 5, we will get answer as decimal, which is not a whole number. Similarly, examples such as 3 divided by 12, 4 divided by 10, and 96 divided by 10 will result in decimal numbers, not whole numbers. Hence, we say that whole numbers are not closed under division. So, 
this is a summary of what we learned today we learned that whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication and whole numbers are not closed under subtraction and division so what did we learn today we learned whether whole numbers are closed under addition whether whole numbers are closed under subtraction whether whole numbers are closed under multiplication and whether whole numbers is closed under division so if you guys like the video please like share subscribe and hit on the notification bell to get more notifications when i upload more videos thank you and have a nice day